Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're gonna paint these beautiful indigo buntings for Sketchbook Sunday. I worked on this over about the course of an hour or so in my sketchbook, and it was so much fun. The reference photo I'm using is from the Artist Photo Reference Songbirds book, and I combined three different reference photos to get this piece. I'll link up to that book, which I found used on Amazon for a few dollars, um, so hopefully you can have some luck finding it as well. I started off with a mechanical pencil on some inexpensive watercolor paper and just sketched the basic shapes of the birds. Then I put in the branches because it's easier to draw the birds and then connect them to branches than to draw branches and hope your birds end up in the right spot. I started off by wetting the bird and then drizzling in some phthalo blue and phthalo green paint and kind of letting the paint spread. And then I scraped in some detail with a credit card scraper. I added some raw sienna and some Van Dyke brown to give it the earthiness towards the bottom of the bird. And then I let that wash dry while I repeated those same steps on the other two birds. I'm using the Renaissance uh, Polish watercolors. They are a semi handmade paint, uh, but you can use whatever you have. It's going to be totally fine. And, um, as my picture started to dry, I did notice that I could start layering even before things were completely dry. And the paper I'm working on is the Hannah Mule, um sketchbook. It is a student grade paper. It's just cellulose and it's fairly light. I'd say about 90 pounds. So really use whatever paper you have for your sketchbook. It should be fun. You should enjoy it and you shouldn't feel that it's too precious and you're going to waste it. So for the second layers on the birds, I use the same colors as I used before, just in a little um, thicker concentration, and I just went in with a smaller brush, a number two round, to paint some details. I just did little flicks for feathers and longer lines for those wing feathers that tend to be a little silkier and smoother. To paint the branches, I used a large um, kind of really absorbent filbert to paint the branches with water and then added in some Van Dyke Brown, some raw sienna, and some phthalo blue for that dappled shadow look. And then I mixed up some green using the blue, green, and raw sienna on my palette and just did some very simple one stroke leaves just to kind of fill it in. And then I flicked on those colors on their own just to give it the feeling of a really densely um, leafed branch. And I wet both sides of my paper so that it wouldn't warp and I went in with a white gel pen and added those sparkles in the eyes and the beak and little highlights on the feathers that I covered up with my paint. And then I went in with a seafoam green pencil to brighten up some of that um, greeny tones, some yellow ochre for some of the more earthy tones, and I also used some Copenhagen blue to brighten up the uh, blue feathers and some indigos to deepen the shadow. And that's pretty much all there was to it. I really enjoyed this project. It was so fun to create this for Sketchbook Sunday and I hope you give it a try or something like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up before you go. Until next time, happy crafting.